Hi guys, hope you're all well and welcome back to another weekly outlook video. In this video, we're going to be breaking down the dollar, the yen, and oil. Um, so we're just going to break down where we can expect to see dollar strength and weakness. Same with the yen and also oil. As always, what we'll do, we'll look at the economic calendar for the week ahead. It's looking like a very slow week in all honesty. You've got CPI for America on Wednesday at about half past one. Um, and then besides that, you've also got the GDP on Friday morning for the pound. So in all honesty, it's probably going to be a really slow week simply because the economic calendar, there's not much on it. Obviously, at the minute, there's the ongoing situation with Russia, Ukraine, and obviously China and Taiwan. For that reason, it's just going to be a case of maybe if there's any fundamental news regarding Taiwan and um, China, that may move the market. But as well, just in terms of press releases and economic data, there is not going to be much. Um, obviously, last week there was the Bank of England interest rate. Off the back end of that, they did look at saying there's going to be a recession. So we did see the pound, obviously, drop towards the back end of last week. But besides that, guys, it's pretty much just going to be a technical week. Hopefully the market does move, but in these situations it usually doesn't when it's a quiet day. So let's go on to the chart. So looking at the DXY, obviously the other week we did call this area here. As an area of strength um, obviously that did happen so for the upcoming week I'm pretty much just looking for the dollar to come back into this area here so you've got a lot of resistance then turn support so obviously in terms of the DXY it does like key levels as well you do have this EMA coming towards the key level so if we can see the dollar potentially pull back down into this area here it may have a reaction. How good this reaction is, it completely depends. It may be a big reaction and the dollar keep pushing. However, we have seen that the dollar has started to pull back and create bearish market structure. However, this is almost like the leg up. So until price broke below this level here, I would still be bullish on dollar. Um, so yeah, if price can come down into this region here and then we can get a pullback and a little bounce, that would obviously be perfect as well it's highly highly unlikely but if the dollar did actually manage to breach this level you probably because of something fundamental you could maybe see a pullback from the 101 region so what i will do i will put 101 tag here in terms of an area we are looking for strength and then as well here this is the 104 region so if price can get to the 104 region on the dxy i would look to buy the dollar so that would mean looking to buy i'm um, sorry sell things like pound us dollar euro us dollar etc um, and that's pretty much as simple as it is in terms of the dollar going on to the yen obviously you can see last week let me just change the color of this obviously last week we did call this area of strength here if we do just literally rewind it, you can see that obviously it did play out. Um, the reason for this is if you watch the video, 61 Fib, EMA, and a nice key level as well. So obviously that played out. That did help us in a Euro Yen trade, which obviously did go on to win. While I remember, if you look at this Telegram channel here, we do have a free Telegram channel in the bio. Um, you can see that our actual members last week, we did do pretty much um, four trades and pretty much four wins and um, pips so we're going we're five days into the month in terms of trading days and we're about 700 pips up um, so obviously looking at a one percent risk you're looking at about seven percent gain so if you are interested in obviously the free group the link will be in the bio if you are interested in the paid group that will also be in the bio so yeah so looking at yen for next week obviously with the taiwan situation and the China situation, obviously, yen may look to get strong off the back end of this and potentially come up here. Obviously, we'll monitor that nearer the time. If price can potentially come into this area here, you could look to see a reaction. So for me, it would mainly be if there's a third touch there, just in the trend channel. 
Um, but mainly for next week, guys, if price can pull back down to this area here, which would be the 7,800 region, price can get to the 7,800 region. You've got a third touch of a trend line. You've got the round number. You've got a nice key level there. So that would make for a good position. In terms of shorts immediately, if price could get to, let's say, 8380. If price can get to 8380, then we're potentially looking for weakness in the dollar, which would be good. Um, sorry, the yen. And obviously, if price can get to 7800, then we would look for yen strength as well. We've got this here, which is 8130. So if price gets to 8130, in time for the third, then you could potentially look for some weakness in the yen. Um, and it's pretty much as simple as that in terms of the analysis. If you are interested in seeing these play out live, we do always update the free group when price does reach these areas. Um, and then it's pretty much obviously plain sailing from there. Going on to oil, obviously you can see oil, we do have quite a good success rate with. We've still got the short here, that run into the long, which run into the short, which run into the long, and obviously now we are still looking at the dollar. So looking at the dollar for this week, you can see we've got a nice little key area here. So we had one touch of support, two touch of support. We still didn't manage to close below the support, although we did have a spike. Another touch here. So now I am potentially expecting a break and retest of this support level here, as well as added confluence. You have the 50 Fibonacci. You also have the EMA. So for that reason, this is going to be a really strong area, which oil will need to break. For that reason, obviously, we would look to enter on the 95 handle. So just obviously keep that in mind. Um, and as well, it's just looking like a really good confluence area. If you can marry these up with the DXY, then obviously it does make for a good trade. Um, and as well, CAD. But we'll do a video on CAD in the near future. Then going on to the next level up, we have the 61 Fibonacci. 61 Fibonacci with this nice key level at the 98 region. However, because the Fib is the first confluence, I would look to enter this trade at 97.50. So if price manages to get to 97.50, I would look to short. It can be at any point in the market. It doesn't matter. And same with this one here. At any point, if this trade triggers, it is valid. Um, going on to this upper level here, you can see there's multiple levels of touches, so it's a nice key level within the market. You also have two EMAs coming down into the level. So for that reason right there, let's look for entry. You are looking at 100 point five dollars So these are the areas going forward into the week. Obviously, this area here is limited to if the EMAs are there. However, the other two areas here are pretty much valid all week. Um, so that is pretty much the breakdowns. So we've done the dollar, we've done the yen, we've done oil. Obviously, what we'll do as well, if you join the free channel in the bio, you will be able to see these charts play out live. As you can see, this is the group. We do send charts here saying, for example, JPY Basket has entered our area of strength. And then you can see that's exactly what happened. And that is following this area here. And that is it. So hope you've taken something from this video, guys. All links are in the bio. And we will see you in Wednesday's video.